Hello everyone, I am Dr. Neeraj. So today I am going to show you that how you can perform multiple sequence alignment by using cluster W. So now let's move to the computer screen. This is the computer screen. So in order to perform the multiple sequence alignment by using cluster W. So first of all just open your browser. So as this is the browser, now just enter the cluster W in the Google. As you search, so the first website that is www.genome.jp is the site where you can perform the cluster W. So just enter in the website by clicking here. So this is the home page of cluster W. Now there are options. First option is the output format. So this is the format in which you want your results. So you can see the many output format there, but we are choosing the cluster. Next is the alignment, either fast or approximate and slow or accurate so now you can choose the method of your you can say matching here so i am going to choose slow and accurate it is slow but it gives the most appropriate results now next is the enter the sequence below here before entering the sequence you have to choose either the sequence are proteins or the sequence are of nucleotides so i am clicking here dna because just for demo purpose i am going to perform the nucleotide sequence alignment in this box so here you have to copy paste your sequences to which you want to compare so here just for the demo purpose i have already downloaded the some sequences for the multiple sequence alignment so here these are the sequences for which i am going to perform the multiple sequence alignment how i just downloaded this format these sequences so that i will cover in the next video where i will tell you that how you can download the sequences in faster format from ncbi website so for now i am just selecting all these sequences and copy them after copying them just move back to the cluster w home page and here just right click and paste the sequence which you just copied you can also choose the file from where i just copied the sequence so you have option that you can choose that file also now here the simple button is there execute multiple alignment here you can just click and multiple alignment will be there there are some more options like more detail parameter so these are just uh, you can say these are just for research purpose that i will cover later on here just for basic demo i am just going to perform the multiple sequence alignment so just click here execute multiple alignment as I click here, so it will take some time to align the sequences and after that the result will be there. So now as you can see the results are there. Now these results are divided into some portions which are generally called as tables. Here if you see in the first, I am zooming it. So this is the first table which just show the basic information about the sequences which you have just taken for the alignment. Like sequence 1 2 3 4 5 it means we have just taken five sequences you can take as many as but there should be more than one sequences you can take either 5 10 50 100 but it is multiple se sequence alignment so that's why sequence should be more than one so in the first table the basic information like in case of sequence 1 this is the accession number which i am just highlighting for you this is the accession number and this is the query length or you can say the length of sequence that is 4139 base pair long similarly in the second sequence this is the accession number and this is the length of the sequence so you can see that there are five sequences and accession number of each has been mentioned here in the second table here it shows the alignment score by aligning the sequences with each other like first the sequence is one and two they are aligned with each other and the score is 100% means they are 100% similar second matching is between the alignment you can just between the sequence one and three again the alignment score is 100 so you can see that the sequences are matched in the way like one is matched with second then one is again matched with sequence third then one is matched with fourth one is with fifth and after that now the second sequence is matched with third sequence then second is with fourth then second with fifth and so on so by doing this he matched all the sequences with one another one by one and this is the score which shows the you can say percentage of identity between these sequences where the score is 100 means the 
alignments, the aligned sequences are hundred percent similar. Here the score is very much less, so means there is very much less similarity between the sequence first and fifth. Now in the next table, these aligned sequences they are divided into groups. Like here, it divided into the four groups, which are the group one contain the two sequences. Again, group two it contain the three sequences, while group three it contain the four sequences. Now let's come to the main alignment. So here, this is the you can say result in which the alignment of all the five sequence has been shown. Now how to understand this alignment? So for this, I am zooming it like this. Here you can clearly see you are seeing some stars here like these 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 stars. So what it means? Stars are generally there when the sequences in or you can say when the nucleotide base in all sequences is similar. Like for example here you can see that here A A A means A is common in all of these five sequences. So star is there. Similarly the next star is for the T here A T. So it means A and T. Nucleotide bases are common in all of these five sequences. So star means star show. You can say it show the conserved sequence, the sequence which are common or conserved in all of the sequences given by you. Now, when the star is not there, so it means there is one or more nucleotide is different. Like for example, here, here you can see we have C C C C in the four uh, sequences, but in the fifth sequence. T is there, so it means this C is not conserved. It is changing in the fifth sequence, so that's why the star is not there. So it is showing the similarity that four sequences can are conserved with the C, but fifth have the T. And these lines, you can clearly notice these lines. So these lines shows that there is uh, not any base or nucleotide available for the matching. So this is you can say this is about the. Uh, result by which you can understand the result of multiple alignment. Here in the left hand side, this is the accession number of sequence which I just told you in the first table. So this is the complete alignment of complete sequences. Means it will start from first nucleotide to last nucleotides, and it will match all of these five sequences. With each other, and by doing this, you will get the results. Like these are very huge result because sequences are very long. These are just one, as I shown in the first table. The sequences is of four one three nine base pair long. So here you can see the long run of results because it is matching from one end to another end of complete sequence. So all of the five sequences are completely matched with one another, and after that the results are just prepared for you. And here. So you can clearly analyze the results. Again, repeating the star stand for the conserved sequences. When the star is not there, it means the one or many uh, bases are different in one or other sequences. And these lines they represent that there is not any nucleotide available for the uh, you can say matching. So this is about the results of cluster W, which perform the multiple sequence alignment. So by this. You can clearly, or you can say, you can easily compare your sequences. The sequences may either be one, uh, either be two, or any, but it should not be one because it is multiple sequence alignment. So that's why you have to take more than one sequences. So this is how you can perform the cluster W for the multiple sequence alignment. So that's all for today, guys. See you in the next video. Thank you very much.